The Northwest Mobile Newsroom is in North Providence now, where tonight police are investigating after someone opened fire in a neighborhood near a school, hitting a house and a car. Tonight, we're hearing from neighbors. Eyewitness News reporter Marilyn Scherer is live from North Providence with what she's learned. We're told a shooting is definitely unusual, unusual in this North Providence neighborhood, and shooting victims and neighbors tell us they filed a report as soon as police arrived on the scene. At 4 a.m. Thursday, multiple gunshots were fired at a parked car and house on Cooper Street in North Providence, awakening neighbors who had no idea what was happening. Well, I was up at 4 o'clock in the morning. I was getting ready to, to go to work. I heard uh, some shots go, go off. As soon as I got up, I went to the window and I seen a couple of youths running up the street. Frank Rocha lives across the street from the car and house that had several bullets fired into them. The family that lives in the house is frightened and didn't want to appear on camera. Two bullets grazed the bed where their teenage son was sleeping. Several bullets shattered the car windows that are now taped up. The family tells Eyewitness News they don't know why someone would shoot at their home. Even more shocking, within 100 yards from where the shooting took place is the Maryville Elementary School on Morgan Avenue. Police are investigating the incident, which is unsettling to neighbors. It was very alarming because in this neighborhood here, we don't have this kind of activity and there's a lot of children here and there's a school here, so we have to be cautious. Now, the family tells us police interviewed them, but without further information about potential suspects, police say a, an investigation will be difficult. Reporting live with the Northwest Mobile Newsroom, Marilyn Shara, Eyewitness News.